Welcome back, y'all. Let's see what's going on. Give me a message for the collective, please. How does the masculine feel about the vibe feminine? Show me how does the masculine feel about the vibe feminine. Ooh, he's thinking about you. You got nostalgia. Balancing the scales and new direction. So this masculine, you have been on this masculine's mind. They are trying to find a way to balance the scales with you. Um, I feel like with compromise here, I feel like they are trying to find a way to compromise and take things in a new direction towards you, coming towards you in a new way, in a new found energy. This person is toxic as hell because we got bound and commitment. So this person could feel like you're bound to them in some way, shape, or form. Like y'all have some type of everlasting bond. But I feel like this person, for sure, for sure, has you on their mind. And they're trying to find a way to balance the situation out with you before they come towards you. Okay, so they recognize the connection. They know what this connection is all about. They understand the connection. But I feel like this masculine has been numbing himself. Getting tattoos or drinking a lot, smoking a lot. Um, because they're filled with regret, okay? There's some type of cycle that this masculine has recognized about this connection, okay? This masculine has come to realize that, that this connection is going through some type of cycle. Like, maybe they feel like, well, this is our ups and downs. This is how relationship goes. They goes in cycles. I'm kind of getting that type of energy. We got soulmate and abandoned and divine timing. So I feel like this masculine know that they, this masculine abandoned this connection. They abandoned this connection. Tell me more about soulmate. This masculine don't understand about spiritual, okay? Because, see, we got understanding, vibration, and shadow work. They don't under, they don't have no clue about this. All they know is material, 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 material. So, they're very shallow. Like, this masculine, all he know is money. He don't know anything about this spiritual stuff. Okay, so he abandoned this connection. Now, tell me more about the vibe timing. You may have told this person that they were your soulmate, and they looking crazy like, what? You may have told them about twin flames and stuff. They probably like, what are you talking about? What? Is, I don't know what. I, I need to go do some research, because all I know is getting money. All I know is money, money, money. All I know is clothes, shoes, and nice cars. That's all I know. I don't know nothing else. So they're real shallow. Tell me about divine timing. The answer is no. Okay. And then we got release and destruction. So I feel like it's not the right time for this connection to come back together. Spirit is saying release this connection because it's only going to cause destruction. It's only going to bring in destruction, pain, sorrow. Like it's just going to cause too much confusion. It's going to bring in too much confusion. Spirit say it's time to heal. We got healing in fifth dimension. Spirit say it's time to heal. Okay. Take your time and heal from this connection. Because this person, they going to come around wearing a mask. Pretending that they want a fresh start. But you've evolved so much that you're going to peep all the signs. It's like, it's like, what's the point when you're no longer gullible to their games, you're no longer um, a victim to their manipulation. It's like you evolved so much 
And even though this person is thinking about you all the time, I feel like maybe it's just not the right time. We got divine timing and the answer is no. So spirit saying, not right now. It's time for you to release this connection because it's going to cause some type of interruption. It's going to cause some type of interruption in your healing process. Okay. Yeah. Divine feminine in new direction. Okay. So see, some of y'all already done reinvented yourself. You know, I already evolved. Okay. You've already did the work. You did this last winter. Okay. You did this some winters ago. This person has not evolved. Enough to, to be with you. I'm here and I think about you. Even though you went a different route. And they've been in grief ever since. They've been in grief ever since. So that's their karma. They lost a good one. They lost a good one. Because they shallow. They 3D. They don't want to evolve. Let's see what went wrong. So what went wrong in this connection? Double dating and trying to share each other. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Double dating and trying to share each other. Like, what the hell is that? They paid too much attention to you. So maybe they feel like they paid way too much attention to you when they should have been dating other people. So I feel like this person wanted to date other people. And they feel like they was putting all of their attention on you. I feel like you intimidate this person. They didn't see a point in staying because you acted like you didn't need them. I feel like you made it very clear <laughs> that it wasn't fucking with you. Like, yeah, you, you, yeah, you can go on. They made a disconnection because they wanted to date other people. They wanted you in. They wanted they want their cake and eat it too. You had too many options that it caused. You had too many options that it caused you confusion. Okay. And then we got checking out others in front of you. So this person, I feel like they wanted their cake and eat it too. And I feel like some, some of y'all went and got y'all own options too. And then they started feeling some type of way. But they was so into you. Like, they was full-fledged, fully, 100% into you. So, they went out and got an, got another connection. So, they won't put all their attention towards you. That's so lame. Let's see, let me see what they want to say. What does this person want to say to the company? I don't react when people mention you. So they don't, when people bring you up, they try to act like tough, like they don't, like they aren't thinking about you, like they don't miss you. I hid who I really am from you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. What else? I replay our conversations over and over, and I feel you even though we are apart. And this person say they love you unconditionally. So they still love you, but they're trying to play tough. They're trying to play tough. When people bring you up, they try to not to, they, they doing their damnness, not to flinch, not to feel no type of way, not to feel no pressure. But this person still is in love with you, and they still think about you. But they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And and on what planet do what planet are you on? Like some people might go for that. Um, and it seems like they want some like some type of open relationship. Like they want it to be open. Like you date other people when they date other people or something like that. And it's just like, mm, what planet do you live on? <laughs> y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm gonna chat with y'all later.